and welcome to the Shadow Ram 87 channel. Uh, today, uh, so I, I just did a race in South Boston in the Legends series. I didn't even record myself doing it. I didn't really feel like doing it. I just wanted to race, and it ended up being such a good race that I was like, I, I got to go back. I had to really at least record the replay. So now I'm just going to do kind of a voiceover of uh, kind of what was going on. So coming to the green right here, uh, starting P10, there's a wreck right away. I didn't get it in the replay there, and I probably should have gone back and got the footage for it, but there was about a, somebody took somebody else out or somebody cut down on somebody. And, but that was honestly the only wreck uh, in the race, uh, to my knowledge at least. Uh, so you see here, uh, instantly up to P7, and uh, racing the, uh, the 8 and the 11 cars here. So uh, I'd never raced at South Boston prior to this, and I did uh, about five minutes of practice. I figured it's a short track. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll finish mid back to back, whatever, and that's fine. Uh, just go ahead and have some fun while I have some time to kill. But uh, is it, I, I actually really like this track. Once I kind of discovered that low get down on the apron and come up groove there, uh, I gained a lot of speed, and I noticed in the five minutes of practice, I was, I was running pretty pretty good lap. Uh, I was about a tenth off the, the leader, and which to me is not, not terribly off, even in a track like this. I mean, obviously, it be a lot afterwards. So uh, here, uh, again, I'm in the 13 part, and I'm racing the 7 part here. And this this particular battle, if I remember correctly, uh, goes on for a while. And at some point, I here soon, I'm realizing that I am way faster, I won't say way faster, I'm quite a bit faster than him off the corners. Uh, whether that's the angle I'm, I'm taking at the exit here, but it seems like I'm taking a similar exit. Maybe I'm on the gas faster. Uh, I'm not really sure, but at, 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 I remember, and you'll, I don't know if you'll see, but so here I'm going, I'm going for the pass. I go down below. The problem is at this point, in this particular attempt, not to, uh, everything up here. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to make the pass down low and also trying to not because I'm not 100% uh, comfortable yet. I'm not a, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to crowd him I'm trying to to be nice about it. Uh, I did a really low line there. Good, nice run up but at this point I kind of almost duck in back behind him I believe because I realize I'm not, I'm not making the pass here. And I kind of spend, uh, uh, spend the next couple of laps here regathering myself. Yeah, I guess so. And something I kind of thought about after this race is I spent a lot of time behind this car, and you don't think much of it. When you're, but it's a 30 lap, 30, 35 lap race, 30 lap race, maybe it was. And every lap here that I'm going slower than I want to go, I'm losing time on people in the car. Not, not that I was going to win this race by any stretch of imagination. Uh, I don't know what laps I was running as compared to the leader. I felt pretty fast near the end, uh, but I feel fast, are fast, which really thanks. But at the same time, I probably should, I should, I need to probably push the envelope in these situations. Uh, my thing is that I'm, I'm trying to not wreck anybody. I've had instances where I, I push it a bit much and end up dooring somebody or whatever. And I was trying, especially with like the Legends cars, which are semi-open wheel here. And here I'm going, I, I, I decide, okay, I'm going for another one here. And you're going to see this time, I don't spend nearly as much time. I realize that, look, I, I can't just sit on the bottom He's going to keep getting more momentum than me off the corner, so I've got to, I've got to push it, and I've got to push him up. And right there, I did not touch him. Just to be clear on that. I did not touch him. I had no incident points in this race. Uh, I just got close enough that he hit the wall, and but I didn't touch him. Uh, but then at that point, I basically set sail from this group. Like I'm able to get up off the corner the way I want to, use up the whole track, and they start racing behind me. Uh, but I, at this point, kind of check out. Like, I was kind of thinking the 8 car was going to be as fast as me. But, I don't know. Again, I don't know. I wasn't looking behind me. I didn't go back and watch the full replay of everybody's perspective here. 
but from my perspective, oh no, right there I could see he he got around him, so I was just faster, and that's cool too. I don't get to say that a lot that I was faster than too many people, so. You will notice here though, I I start to get into a good rhythm, and I really start to figure out kind of what I like here, the, the angle for which I, I start attacking. I kind of I, I let it hit mid corner before I start kind of going down towards the bottom of the apron and then shooting off the corner. Uh, I kept finding that if I was actually in the racing groove, I didn't get a very good run off, and I was I felt like I was pinching it off the corner and I was having a lift. So getting down close to the apron seemed to be my best uh, way off the corner. And by no means, again, I've seen this in other videos, don't take my advice as, as possible here. Like, I'm not fast. I'm, I'm consistent at times, and I have a lot of fun. And that's, and then occasionally I win, but not very, I'm not on very often occasions, <laughs> which is fine. see in the camera or in the uh, view there I am starting to catch uh, the car in front of me and uh, I think I, I, I at this point I'd seen them I'm watching my relative and I am catching him so I just do my best just to keep running keep running my line you know keep 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 the same arc Uh, if you're wondering, like, uh, gear-wise, so I'm third on the straights, and then right going into the corner, I blip it down into second. Get through the corner in second, and then as I'm coming up off the corner, probably about here, I'm in third. If anybody's curious, that, that was my personal plan of attack there. So here I am, I'm catching uh, another nine car there. And I don't know if he wore out his tires or, or what, but I... Uh, I decide here again. I'm not going to do the same thing I did with the the seven car before. I'm I'm going to get to him, and I'm going to pass him. And again, I'm never touching him. No incident points. Not even a tap of a zero X. It never uh, came across the screen. But here, I went high, went low. <coughs> sorry, and did a crossover. Get down below him, and then he tries to go cross back over. But I I make sure I try to pinch it down and then get a good run off here and no, I, well, I, kept, I kept it high there uh, which is not my comfortable line but I get enough run there off the corner that I clear them and once I've cleared them it's right back down to the line I want to be at and uh, similar I kind of set sail here Yeah, at this point I'm in P5. I again I leave this guy. I I'm a I think I'm a, like I'm two-ish seconds behind the fourth place guy that wasn't gonna happen with something terrible happened and uh, I believe I'm coming up on the last lap here. White flag right here. Uh, in P5. I think it's still running pretty good laps, and again, I did. Uh, I, I learned a lot in this time. I'm not. I don't generally race the legend cars. I actually do enjoy them a lot. But uh, yeah, here I am with the checkered flag. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you had fun watching it. Thanks.